Hello and welcome to week 34 of the Country Garden Crochet Along. And this week we're going to be starting our outer border. Uh, it's an easy week and we're just going to be adding the first two rounds, which are both made with nice and simple double crochet. So let's get started. Okay, so this week we're going to do the first two rounds of our final border. So I'm using the lighter blue. So it's going to look like the sky uh, bordering our garden with in a couple, in next week we'll start the butterflies that will be in it as well. But this week is a nice easy week. Okay, so we can join into any stitch around the edge. And I'm going to join with a chain one just to secure it. And then in the same stitch I'm going to make a double crochet um, starting chain. Just put my stitch marker in. Okay. And then you're just going to do a double crochet in every stitch around. So with these um, corner rectangles, just be a bit aware of the stitch count. You should be have 19 stitches on the short edge, 35 down the long edges. So just make sure that you've got uh, the right number of stitches in those. And of course we'll be adding an extra stitch into the corners. And that's it. For this round it's just double crochet in every stitch, nice and simple. And just making sure you keep your stitch count out. Right, so it's only these corner rectangles when you're working down the size of them that you're going to have to watch your count. So this is the cable square. So we've got two stitches into the side of every double crochet and one stitch into the side of each single crochet row. Okay, and that's going to be the same for the others. Um, the only one you've got to watch out for is the uh, mini basket weave square, rectangle even. That one is oh, it's one single crochet in one row, not single crochet, one, let me start that again. It's one stitch in one row and then two stitches in the next, apart from the first and the last. It'll be the same as how you attached it to um, to the corner. It'll be the same count as that. Just go check, double check that one. But if you need to double check that, that's in the written pattern which is in the description below or check back as how we attached it um, in the week we did it. Okay, so into my corner, I'm going to make my extra double crochet before I turn and start down this side. So I need two, oh, that's tight, I'll put one in there, and then one in there. And I clearly made, <laughs> oops, when I've woven in my ends I've done it right into that stitch making it really hard to get into the side, there we go. Now, there's, where there's a will there's a way and then that's another double crochet row so two into there. Um, yep that's it for this row, so just double crochet in every stitch round, just making sure you've got the right number of stitches into the sides of your uh, corner rectangles and add the extra stitch in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this round and I shall come back to you when I get back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm back to the beginning of the round and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet. 
and that's round one done. So now we're going to add another round and it's the same again just another round of double crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to chain one and into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into I'm going to make a double crochet chain. Okay. Just get my stitch marker in there and it's the same again just double crochet in every stitch round. So when you get to that uh, second corner stitch, which is that one there, there's the first one. Yep, there's the second one. Just make two double crochet in there. Do that in each corner. But otherwise, it's just one double crochet in every stitch round. So it's taking a while to do a round at this stage. Now we've got everything together. So, so that's why we're only doing two rounds. So I'm going to go do this and then when I get back round to the beginning I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch but I'm going to keep blue attached okay so we're going to be using this colour again next week and next week ooh, where's my arm coming over here and next week we're going to be starting our butterflies okay so I'm going to go ahead and finish this And yeah, there is really nothing else to say for this round. So when you get back round to the beginning, just slip stitch into that first double crochet, but don't cut off. Okay, leave your yarn attached, and I shall see you for next week's stitch, which is far more interesting. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.